Hi everyone, in continuity of homogeneous functions, we have yet another property of this beautiful concept, which is, if z is equal to f of x, y is homogeneous of degree n, then x square into del square z upon del x square, plus 2xy into del square z upon del x del y, plus y square into del square z upon del y square is equal to n into n minus 1 into z. It's look, it looks like some aggravated form of Euler's theorem. It really is, in fact. And we are going to derive this using Euler's theorem only. So, so that's the result. And other ways of writing these derivatives is this. I need not elaborate on that. Let's begin. The question says, if u is equal to u of xy is homogeneous of degree k, then prove that x square into del square u upon del x square plus 2xy into del square u upon del x del y. So basically this result is equal to k into k minus 1 into u of xy. So I have to prove this property for this particular function which I have been given to be homogeneous of degree k. Now step 1 is to utilize the information you have from the question. The question tells you that this is homogeneous of degree k. So right from here, I can actually write the Euler's theorem result. Since u is homogeneous of degree k, by Euler's theorem, we have x into del u upon del x plus y into del u upon del y is equal to degree of homogeneity times the function u itself. So I'll mark it as 1. Now, this is your starting point in order to prove this. I'll differentiate this form once with respect to x and once with respect to y and then I'll join both the pieces together. Because what does it have? It has some second order derivatives. So, I need to go about this equation by secondly, by differentiating it again. So, partially differentiating with respect to x, you'll get x into del square u upon del x square plus y into del u upon del x into del y, yes. And oh, there was a product rule right over here. So x into derivative of this, so that will be this, plus del u upon del x into derivative of x, that is 1. And then it, it's, as, as I told you, is equal to k times u also gets differentiated with respect to x, del u upon del x. I'll take del u upon del x over here, so I'll have x into del square u upon del x square plus y into del square u upon del x del y equals to k minus 1 del u upon del x. Likewise, if you multiply this equation by x, you can have x square into del square u upon del x square plus x y over here and then x again multiplied over here. If you repeat the same procedure with respect to y, so if you differentiate it with respect to y and then multiply it by y, you'll have this result, just symmetric to it. So instead of x, I'll write y everywhere. So y square del, del square u upon del y square plus xy, this is the same returned, is equal to y into k minus 1 into del u upon del y. Now what you have to do is join these two pieces together. Because what does it look like? This looks like a sum of the second order derivatives and a combined uh, derivative. So let's add equation 2 and 3. So adding 2 and 3 will get the final result which we have been looking forward to. So this will come out to be x square del u upon del x del square u upon del x square plus 2xy into del square u upon del x del y plus y square into del square u upon del y square is equal to k minus 1 into. So this part is going to act like x into del u upon del x plus y into del u upon del y with k minus 1 common coming outside and what is this this is nothing but k into u so x into del u upon del x plus y into del u upon del y can be written as k into u using the first equation and finally you have proved what you were asked for the question also has a second part let's go through it if u is equal to u of xy is homogeneous of degree 1. So now the function, the question tells you that k, the degree of homogeneity of your function is actually 1. So prove that this result holds del square u upon del x square into del square u upon del y square minus del square u upon del x del y whole squared is equal to 0. Somewhere this is asking you to work out some product. And let me check what I just did. So I have this piece of information and so do I have this. What can I do in order to arrive at this result? 
okay so i think i can actually use um this equation and substitute k for 1 so if you substitute k for 1 as the question has now told you you will get x into del square u upon del x square plus y into del square u upon del x del y is equal to 0 so k minus 1 is working out to be 0 now so i'll have this likewise from this equation also um likewise you'll have one for y as well so that will be y into del square u upon del y square is equal to minus x upon del square u del x del y so i've done nothing but substituted k is equal to one in this equation okay so i've substituted k is equal to one in this equation and created the same symmetric counterpart for y as well and then this proof somehow looks like a product of these two and I've been given that both x and y are non-negative. Uh, so, the, sorry, they're positive, strictly positive. So, that means multiplying won't do any harm. So, if I multiply, you'll have x, y into this is equal to yet again x into y. So, that, that gets multiplied and minus minus also gets a positive. x, y can be cancelled out since both are positive. And you have your result right in front of you, which you were asked to prove. So, that was about another property of homogeneous function. And we'll be exploring homothetic functions in the next video. Thank you.